I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll see what the outcome is. So, Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person. Nine of Swords ends with the Three of Swords. Now, the Nine of Swords, it's showing a need to guard against feelings of anxiety. If you're feeling anxious, take a good look at whether or not any of this is under your own power or control and try to lessen it. Or if other things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety, if this is the case, take a good look at that and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable for you. There is something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger or just different than it is. So try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things and just know that that's where the beauty really is now. It's with the Three of Swords. With this Three of Swords, there's actually an element of sorrow that's undeniable. But what's on the other side of this sorrow or sadness can be enhanced understanding and joy. So allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow or pain that comes up so you can move past it. This card can also point to maybe a very deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on. Because if you deny any pain, that will not make it go away. But allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up. But don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in sadness or grief for long periods of time. However, you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough, and others will not be able to do this for you. So, Nine of Swords clarified by the Three of Swords for the recent past energy between you and your person. So this is telling me, um, Pisces, that you hurt someone. Yeah. This Three of Swords can be about getting hurt. So I'm picking up for some of you, Pisces, you hurt your person. They're heartbroken. And because it's with the Nine of Swords, it could be causing you some anxiety. Yeah, maybe you just weren't feeling this person and you cut it off. Because the Three of Swords can be about shutting someone out. Um, it can be about rejection. Yeah, and, and this person got hurt by you. Yeah, and it caused you to feel... You were sad about it. It's not like you were jumping up in joy. Jumping up for joy. You did not do that. Because the Nine of Swords can be about... It can be about depression, anxiety, grief, nightmares. So you had to let someone go. This person was really feeling you, and you hurt them. Yeah, they felt rejected by you. But let's move on now. Oh, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So... We got this Two of Pentacles, and it's with the Page of Cups. Okay, so the Two of Pentacles can be about two main issues at front. In your mind, you may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Multitasking is not your friend when you get the Two of Pentacles, so you may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on just two main priorities. It could be that your financial situation needs to be more balanced. So you want to be sure that you're paying attention there. Yeah. 
Now it's on the Page of Cups. Page of Cups it shows a need to play, dream, have a little fun. When this card appears, it can mean that you could be taking yourself far too seriously. There was a poet or a writer that once said, The one thing I have learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work seriously and taking oneself seriously. The first is imperative, and the second can be a disaster. You have to know the difference. So, coming up, Pisces, Two of Pentacles clarified by this Page of Cups. So, yeah, like I said, I don't know whoever this is that you, you cut out or you rejected them. They got hurt. They got their feelings hurt. And it's caused you some, some sleepless nights. You didn't want to hurt this person. They could be reaching out to you, though. Yeah, with the Page of Cups here. Um, they could be trying to get you to open back up. Because the Page of Cups can be about open-hearted energy. It can also be about intimacy. Having a lot of fun. They could be reaching out to you to be with you. So that the two of you can have some fun. But it looks like two of Pentacles, you can make busy. You might be... Telling this person you're too busy. Whether you're busy or not. So, yeah. They, they still want to be with you, Pisces. But that's what's coming up. Let's see what the challenge is for the two of you. Okay, so we got Justice. And it's with the Four of Pentacles. Justice actually deals with the idea of karma and the law of cause and effect. It's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Because sometimes we're caught upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone we care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. Now, if you're directly involved in a court case... It's likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. Now to the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles can be a card about holding on to things, holding on to people, money, or situations longer than is healthy or realistic. So when this card appears, it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. Four Pentacles, it can point to anxiety, it can point to fear. Could be about money. Or it could be about clinging to whatever it is, whatever it is that makes you feel secure. But you have to realize that being anxious and grasping does not bring security. So your challenge, Pisces, justice clarified by the Four Pentacles. So like I said, your person is not done with you. Nope, they're not done, even though they're hurt by you. You feel like you rejected them. They're reaching out to you. You're, you're making like you're too busy with the two of pentacles here. Um, with justice showing up for the challenge... Wow, this person, they could want you to feel what they feel, because they, they got hurt by you. Justice is about what you put out to people, what you put out to the universe, having it come back to you. Karma. So this person might, might um, kind of, you know, when people get hurt, they kind of want you to feel their pain. Especially if you're the one that gave it to them. So, they're still holding on to this in an unhealthy way with the Four of Pentacles. So, yeah. I don't know if this is good. Mm-mm. Because if you look at the picture of the Four of Pentacles, the card below the word challenge, this man is on all fours. 
He's got his hands on his money and his feet on his money. His eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head. And his brain or his head looks like it's about to explode. So your person, they want you to feel the pain that you've caused them. So be careful about going back. Yeah. Be careful. I don't like the way this is looking. I don't like the way the Four of Pentacles is with this Justice card. Not at all. And for the simple fact that you, they're hurt by you. They're still holding on to this justice this year. They could be wanting you to do right by them, or they could be wanting justice to be served. So, I don't know. I wouldn't go back, especially if you hurt somebody. And justice is here. So, anyways, that's a challenge. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the Page of Swords, and it's with the Ten of Cups. Page of Swords can sometimes stand for an actual person in your life. If this is the case, it could represent someone who's younger than you. Because whenever you hear the word page in the tarot, that indicates, it can indicate a student. It can indicate youth, maturity, immaturity, or someone just younger than you. It does indicate that there's a message coming in. Now, in this instance... Because it's a page and he has a huge sword in his hand. I know this reading is starting to sound really creepy, right? Really scary. But anyway, this is how the this is what the the cards mean. This is what they mean. Yeah. This page is somebody young, they bring conflict. They could be immature or just younger than you. And like I said, the page is He's got a sword in his hand, so this person could be trying too hard, pushing too fast. You could feel like they're stepping on your toes. So you might have to set, figure out how well you deal with constructive criticism. This page of source could be the type that will keep con that will start conflict, drama. They'll keep tabs on you. They'll stalk you. They'll watch you. Sorry, this reading is. Turning out to be, like I said, um, kind of spooky here. But dude, these are the cards that fell out for you, Pisces, after I shuffled. But it's with the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is one of the most uplifting cards you can get in a reading. It points to happiness. Perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. It's a good card to see in a reading. Everyone wants the Ten of Cups in a reading. Yeah, the Ten of Cups speaks of happy family life. Even if you're single to the overall, even if you're single to the overall well-being that goes beyond you, yourself, to include, to include those that you're most concerned about. Your parents, your siblings, children, your pets, and much more. You could also be spiritually fulfilled when you get the Ten of Cups in reading. Great card to see regardless of any question. Yeah, well, thank God the Ten of Cups is here. Because yeah, this person is still holding on to you, Pisces. They, they, they got hurt by you. I don't know if, yeah, I guess you do know it. Because the Nine of Swords is here showing that you have some anxiety about rejecting them or hurting them. They could be reaching out to you. This person could be younger than you because you got two page cards here. Or you might feel like they're on the immature side. That could be a reason why you rejected them. They're, they're still re they're gonna be reaching out to you. You haven't heard from them. You're gonna make busy. Yeah, two of pinnacles. Busy, busy, busy. Juggling. Multitasking. Or maybe you are busy. But for a lot of you, you're just going to make busy. Because you, looks like you, 
you didn't want this. You rejected them. They're reaching out to you. Wanting to have fun. Page of Cups. Laugh, fun, have a good time. Um, now for some of you, let me just say this. For some of you, you could be thinking this person, because you're still holding on to you, and they're reaching out to you, trying to get you to have some fun. For some of you, you could be, you could be feeling like your person is trying to get back at you for hurting them. Because justice is here. So, you could be the one thinking just it's in your head that they could be trying to get back at you because you hurt them and that's why they're still clinging on. You know that they're still holding on to this. So maybe they're not trying to get back at you for hurting them. You could be thinking that they could be trying to get back at you for hurting them. And you see that they're still holding on to this. So yeah, that's the other storyline. So for a lot of you, they're not trying to get back at you. But it's in your head. It's in your head that they, they're they still reaching out to you because they want to get back at you. They want to hurt you. That's what you're thinking. And not that they want to do this. So this, this story could go a few different ways. But anyway, you find this person immature. They might try to start some conflict because they see you as someone that they they really want to be with. Ten of Cups is a dream come, a dream come true. They see you as their dream come true. So they're not done with you, Pisces. I don't see it in a bad way. There's nothing for you to be worried about. Like I said, for this justice card to show up and for them to keep popping up. It's just, it could be indicating that you're starting to worry that they might want to just get back at you for hurting them and rejecting them. They're still holding on, Pisces. They see you as their dream come true. So they're going to be reaching out to you more than just once. Page of Swords is about messages. They might try to pick a fight with you, but it's their way of trying to get you back or trying to get something started again with you. Yeah, they could be mad because you're, you're making busy. They know you, you're not always that busy. So they see you as a dream come true. I don't think you have anything to worry about. But you're dealing with someone that just, they got, they got a lot of emotions for you. Ten of Cups is someone that, they just want it all with you. They see you as someone that's, that's their dream. So that's the reading that I have for you, Pisces. I hope you, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, that way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading, where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Pisces, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Let us all thank God that things are not worse than they could be. Because we all know that things could be a lot worse. Hang in there. Stay strong. Take good care. Please come back and join me for the next Pisces reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind when you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. Meaning you could be your person. Or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, 
The other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Pisces, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.